it's me, Donish. I'm back. I feel great. It's about two months since my surgery. As you can see, my hair is starting to grow in. I have no makeup on so that you guys can see me in all my glory and see all the hair as it has naturally come out. There's no pencils or fillers or anything like that to um, want to give a misconception to anybody. Um, but this is where I stand and I am super excited about it. Uh, I have not started the next phase of treatment, which is going to be 14 infusions. That is going to be given over three weeks for the next 10 months or something. But um, it's been nice to just get a break from everything and not be attached to the hospital like I have been. Uh, I really have enjoyed myself. Uh, so I wanted to take a minute to kind of talk about what I've been through, what kind of side effects I've had since I last spoke to everybody and checked in and um, kind of give you an idea of what it feels like two months out because I assumed I would be free and clear at this stage. Um, I wouldn't have any side effects of chemo lingering around, but that is not the case, folks. That stuff sticks around for a long ass time and um, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is and um, I'm just happy I'm finished with it. So let's talk about those things. Um, I'm still swollen, so I thought, you know, the swelling would come down. It has not gone down completely. It has come down significantly. About a week ago, I felt like, doo -doo -doo, like things came down. I can bend my fingers more easily, my knees, my elbow area, you know, all these places, they kind of bend a little more easily than they used to. So I know the swelling is coming down. Uh, my blood pressure is higher than it usually is, which I guess is also a sign of uh, the swelling still being around. Um, of, after that, um, weight loss. I gained about 20, 25 pounds, and it is right where it left, off, left me two months ago. It is right there. I have tried uh, intermittent fasting, one meal a day, I'm plant-based, I'm counting calories, and just things are not working in that department the way I'd like it to work, but I guess everybody's path is different, and as I mentioned, I do have swelling, and I just have to let it go and not think about it, and just let it go, like Elsa says, or Anna, or one of them say that. Okay, after that... My hair has grown in beautifully. It is much softer than the hair I had before all of this. Um, it's growing in dark. I, I read that a lot of people, their hair grew back white. Thankfully, I have whites, but it's not growing back all white. Although it is a little bit lighter than my hair um, was when I was a kid, baby. I don't really know what color my hair um, is really these days because I color it. So um, it also looks kind of straight and I used to have really curly hair, but we'll see because it's still the beginning. That could kind of change as it gets longer. Uh, after that, I would say my skin has gotten much nicer. I mean, chemo sucks, but I guess the turnover for the cells and all that, it makes it really nice um, for your skin. And that's why people with cancer, to me, always look kind of angelic. I thought it's because they're bald, but it, their skin also looks like it's been like filtered through or something, right? Like a soft face. And um, I did get a facial just to kind of um, do some extra credit and take advantage of this great skin. So maybe the facial can get deeper. Um, so this is where this redness might... Uh, that you see my is coming from but uh, the facial really really I mean the chemo really helped with my skin I get compliments on my skin all the time um, two months after chemo and surgery my skin is still really nice um, so that's good uh, let's see what else do I have to say I don't have neuropathy still Yay! I uh, did the cryotherapy, as many of you already know. So I put the ice packs on my hands and feet, and I am happy to say that that helped me. Some people might argue that I have to go through, I don't know, 10 chemos or something like that before you experience it, but I've met many, many, many people who experience chemo uh, uh, neuropathy after just two or three treatments. So I would definitely recommend anybody who needs chemo to do the ice packs on their hands and their feet just to guarantee or help, you know, help um, 
prevent it, if not guarantee it. Um, you can go back to some of my other YouTube videos where you'll see how I place the packs on my hands and feet and um, at what time I place them and at what time I remove them during my treatment to help prevent the neuropathy. But I'm super excited about the neuro no neuropathy because I am a dentist and my hands are really important and I don't want to be out of commission so early in the game. So I am good to go and work on people and not worry about that. Okay, so as we know, I had double mastectomy and I have no feeling in my breast, but because they did a lymph node removal under each armpit, I also have no feeling under like 50% of my armpits. So it's kind of weird because you don't know if you have, you're putting your deodorant on or not, especially because I use the spray ones. So it's just like, pss, and usually from the coldness or from the breeze, you feel if it's coming out. But, um, I learned early on that that's not a good way to gauge your deodorant. And then even putting on the bar, it's just super strange because you don't feel it. So you don't know if you coated it or not. Um, I do feel it getting better, but for the most part, I don't have feeling there. Um, I tend to kind of lay it on thicker where I do have feeling. Uh, but that's okay because it's all temporary, right? And um, yeah, that's pretty much the main side effects that I've noticed. There's no more issues with my throat. Um, my brushing my teeth is a little bit sensitive in some areas of my gums. I have had a cleaning, um, so I'm going to attribute it to the chemo. But everything has changed. I'm so happy for my energy levels and also for my color. Um, I felt like it really made me pale. I had like a gray hue, which might have been difficult to see on the videos because I did have makeup on um, whereas now I have no makeup on but yeah I'm good I have uh, have not started working officially I do go into work but I am not seeing patients uh, full-time but I am starting next week uh, I did go to Reiki healer I am practicing a meditation I'm doing a lot of self-growth trying to get myself to um, understand myself, my habits better so that I'm not stressing all the time over stupid things. And I didn't think I was a, um, to begin with, but um, it's surprising once you become more aware of yourself, just how much you do do things that you're not aware of. Uh, so I have uh, begun reading a lot of books uh, to help me with that um, goal of mine. And I'll do another YouTube discussing those things. But I feel really good right now. Um, there is hope after everything. I know you get down and you wonder, when is it all going to go away? When am I going to start to feel better? And um, once you start to see results, once you start to feel like you're going back to where you used to be, it becomes real motivating because you become excited for how much energy there is left for you to gain and how much better life can be. Because after all this, you have a real real clear appreciation for life and for all the things that you've been blessed with and um, yeah I'm excited so please remember to subscribe it really helps me to know um, that people are engaged they're enjoying my videos so that I continue to play these make these for you um, my goal from the beginning was to help people and um, when you subscribe when you like that lets me know that I'm doing that and um, it motivates me to want to continue making these videos for you all. So I wish everyone a great weekend and um, I'll check in soon. Bye.